Soft sticks. Niall Horan. GQ Essentials. Soft sticks. You're welcome. What's up GQ? It's Niall Horan here, and these are my essentials. I like navy blue. Can you guess? Can you tell? Thanks, brother. Sorry about the length of this. This Dyson hair dryer, best thing that ever happened. I've got quite crazy hair, so I needed something that helps me control the madness. Any sort of humidity. I would never be able to live in New York City, for instance. So this thing is vital. This goes everywhere with me. I even have one for America, one for the UK, so I don't have to switch around with the old adapters and the power and stuff. This Dyson one, my barber in the UK, Larry, he uses all of these in his salon, and he gave me this one so I can bring it all over the world and make sure that it looks half decent. That is essential number one, for sure. Essential number two, a Sarah Chapman face mask, paper mask. Uh, Sarah Chapman is a lady who works in London, obviously skin in skincare. Little paper mask, get a bit of moisture in there, do a lot of traveling, spend a lot of time on planes, and so the skin dries out a little bit. You know, I gotta be on camera all the time. And uh, these things are a must for moisturizing your skin in the evening. Um, based on my first two, I sound really vain. And there's plenty more where that came from. On the topic of moisturizing, Hydro Flask. Um, these have become a bit of a thing recently. It's basically an extension of my arm. I like to drink a lot of water. I don't really drink soft drinks generally. And I bring these everywhere, mainly because recently I've gotten into trying to help in whatever way I can to save the planet. I'm no like eco warrior, but I feel like this is my start. So these are a must. Drink water, save the planet, and they look half decent. Essential number four, the guitar. Thank you, Square. This is my personal guitar. That happens to be in tune, even though I didn't do that. I wrote Basically, my last two albums on this thing, I played on stage every night on my Flickr World Tour last year. It's by an Irish brand called Loudon, and they hand make all the guitars. They don't sell that many guitars a year based on how much pride they put into the woods that they choose. And I got to sit down with them and kind of make this. Ed Sheeran uses them. Sometimes if I'm just watching TV, I'll be, I'll be just kind of practicing and just kind of sitting there, just kind of fiddling around with it. and. If there was no guitars in my house, it would be a very boring house. So I'm glad that I was able to take up this instrument as a kid. And it, it makes some sweet tones. Essential for the life of me, the guitar. Next item, sunglasses. It's a must. Any type of sunglass, these ones are Paul Smith, but generally I kind of wear whatever. I like wearing sunglasses a lot, obviously because it's sunny. <laughs> I've got sensitive eyes. I'm wearing them indoors right now, and I don't really know why, but I'm on camera, so I might as well. I just like wearing sunglasses. I like trying out different ones, different shapes, to see if they suit me. Obviously, they're good for when you're out and about, and I can wear a hat and glasses, and just kind of keep the head down. You probably wouldn't even recognize me now, would you? Also, one thing I do have in my favor is that I don't have the blonde hair anymore, so people actually still think I have blonde hair, even though I haven't had blonde hair for five years. So people always know me as the little blonde fellow with the Irish accent. Things have changed around here. Another essential, baseball cap. Not gonna put it on now because I uh, just did my hair. In America, people get very touchy about what team it is. Can't wear that head around here, son. Uh, a lot of that kind of stuff. Um, but uh, I kind of don't know, know many American sports or teams. So this is obviously one of the most famous logos in the world. And we're in New York, so. I do tend to wear this one a lot. They're really good for when I need to keep my head down. Again, with like the sunglasses, I could probably walk around Times Square and that, and I probably will, because I've got a billboard there right now and I want to go and see it. Amongst all of the other tourists that came to New York and bought a New York Yankees hat. Baseball cap, always essential. The main essential, golf clubs. Anyone that knows me, whether you know me or not, you'll know one thing about me, I play golf. And golf clubs are a big one for me. I always bring them everywhere, everywhere I go. People don't know if I'm a musician or a golfer these days because I walk out of airports with golf clubs. 
I have a golf management company where I manage young European golfers at the minute. And yeah, I'm good friends with the guys at TaylorMade and they make up my clubs for me, fit them out for me. Some of my favorite golf courses I've played, St Andrews, the home of golf in Scotland, Royal Portrush where the Open Championship was this year. I was also very, very fortunate to be invited to Augusta National, the home of the Masters Tournament for many years. Money can't buy your way in there. You have to be invited in. As you can see from the television, it's pretty spectacular. My favorite place in the world, bar none. I don't want to go on about all the great golf courses I've played, but I've been lucky enough to have played some pretty cool golf courses. And if you're a golf nerd like me, you'll appreciate what I've just said for the last 30 seconds. Another essential, a very important one. This is a Paul Smith suit. I'm good friends with Paul Smith himself. Great man. This particular suit is one that I brought especially for today because I wore this suit to the American Music Awards a few years ago when I won Best uh, New Artist. Still probably my favorite suit that I've ever worn. It's got like a little tartan kind of check number going on. And what I love about Paul Smith is he always puts all these crazy colors on the inside of the jacket and like even like the pocket is a different color. He always does something really cool with his suits and I'm lucky enough to know the guy and now when I look inside the inside of his jacket, I understand because his personality matches exactly what he's tailored. Every suit that I put on has to be Paul Smith and if it's not Paul Smith, I feel like I'm cheating on the guy. Next item, a hand steamer. I think I got this one on tour last year, probably at Walmart or something like that on the road. I'm not very good at ironing, so I basically got this thing because it's so handy. Just get it up, turn it on, steam comes out, up and down get a little steam going, get all the creases out. I mean, I've used it this morning. There's still water in the bottom of it. Gets your clothes looking more decent than they did when they were just pulled out of a suitcase. So, hand steamer is a must. Last essential, Larry King's Velvet Texture Clay. Larry King is my barber in London, and he actually cut my hair this morning. He happened to be in New York, and he cut my hair, and that's why it looks all right. This stuff is of his new product line that he just brought out recently. It's like really easy to use. You don't need a lot. You just like little pea size, as they always say. Just give it a good rub, get it in there. It doesn't get greasy. It's kind of like movable all day. You don't have to worry about it ever going, like get putting in too much and it looking really greasy. When I'm moving all the time and there's different things to go to and blah, 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 I can just put a little bit of that in, give it a rub around. It doesn't look like this when I do it, but definitely looks like this when he does it. I've been Niall Horan. I'll always be Niall Horan. GQ, thank you so much. They were my essentials. I hope I didn't bore you to death and I hope you get something out of it. Thank you. <laughs>